Vault of Football, arguably the most forgotten ever game mode in the history of FIFA. It was introduced in FIFA 20, it was hyped up to be the next FIFA Street, and we just didn't hear of it again. This is my first time even going into this game mode. I want to play it for the first time on camera, because I feel like there isn't actually a reason why people hate it. It's just dead. Okay, we have a skill tree, just like pro clubs. We start with 15 and put one on my finishing, my aggression and my strength. Signature abilities, okay. FIFA Street 2, mate, on the PSP. The booming shot or whatever its name was then. 2 OP. I just want to go straight to a game, to be honest. I want to see what the gameplay, like, I've never touched it. I think I might have touched it on, like, the FIFA 20 demo. And already we found a game. Already, I can imagine being kick Ugh, get it! <laughs> Button mash, basically. Yeah, 1-0. It is quite clunky for a tight... Oh, for fuck's sake. It feels like they've just dumped the normal mechanics into a six-a-side pitch. It really does not work at all. If someone told me when I was playing FIFA Street 2 at the age of, like, eight years old that this would be the future FIFA Street, I would just scored. I would laugh in the face. Don't get me wrong, it looks good. All of the transitions, all of the assets, that, the overall design looks clean. It really does not play well. Like, Oh, the goals are huge as well. Like going back to FIFA Street 2, the goals were little cages and you had to really squeeze it in. Mate, they're fucking huge. So the game finishes, you have the top performers, half the team left, so then two boys and AI. You earn uh, SP, where you can unlock clothing. We're in the vault shop, you can spend your points you earn from matches or just buy FIFA points to buy like headbands and cosmetic stuff just like Fortnite. That's really all you can do. You've got a Volta Arcade. Then we have this in like FIFA 13 in the skill games. Right, anyways, give it a go. Come on, round one. Corner scramble. Shoot it in the, in my gutter bar. Yeah? Oh, okay, I see. That's, mate, that's my goal. What's he? I'm already bored, I'm not gonna lie. We had a similar game mode in earlier FIFA's which they took out and now they've just they've just rebranded it with like a rip-off FIFA straight. It's just very lazy. I'll give credit where it's due and Volta does offer more than one skill game. It attempts to offer something different to FIFA, not just like ultimate team and career mode and pro clubs. It's trying to offer something else and I can see where they're coming from with this whole creation. It's literally made for an Xbox party of four, just trying to have a simple laugh. You've got game modes where you can like try hit each other with the football. There's also ones where you've got like stay in the zone for a second amount of time which again is a very cool concept but there is little skill required the idea is certainly there by ea sports it's just not pulled off very well and i feel like with this current game engine it's never gonna work we've got the objectives and um, we have like perform five skill moves and yeah one thing i actually didn't mind playing on the fever 20 demos was when we had um the volta matches where you could pick actual teams so if we try it with volta single match i actually like this you play futsal as well this part is actually a good laugh if you've got a few mates around and you just want something easy to play um it's actually i would try it i would recommend it i feel like they're just trying too hard to incorporate like modern fifa into what used to be good i would actually highly recommend this game mode like around your mates and stuff um it is a good laugh and it's like an easy play it's like two minutes long the players fall over it it's a bit aged but it's nothing too special it's certainly better than the volta game mode we just played let me know your thoughts on volta yeah until next time uh, take care and i'll see you in a bit